So this is point of intersection. So we actually have two different cases. So the first one is when we want to calculate the point of intersection between two circles. And then the second one is when we want to find the point of intersection between a line and a circle. Okay, so if let's say we want to find the point of intersection between two circles, then circle 1, we're going to let them as the first equation. Circle 2, that one will become the second equation. So what you should do next is to find a common chord between them. So normally I will do the first equation minus with the second equation. And then I'm going to get something like x plus y equal to 3 or something. So this one we're going to call them as the third equation. And then you're going to substitute the third equation into either the first one or the second one. So once you substitute into the first one or the second one, you're going to be left with only in terms of x or only in terms of y. So it might look like something like this, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. And what you can do is that you can actually test your discriminant where you have b squared minus 4 is c. If your discriminant shows that the value is less than 0, it simply means that you don't have any point of intersection. So it doesn't intersect at all. So you have no point of intersection. If let's say your discriminant showing that the value is 0, so this one, the circle must touch at one point. So it will touch at one point. If your discriminant is greater than 0, so that means it will intersect at two points. So this is how we're going to prove whether do we intersect at one point, two points, or doesn't intersect at all. If you have the second cases where you have a line and a circle, we're going to repeat almost the same procedure. So the line will become the first equation, the circle will become the second equation. And then instead of finding out the common chord, you simply use the first equation, you substitute them into the second equation. And then you're going to obtain some quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c. And then from here, if you take the discriminant, again, you can see how many points of intersection do you have. Okay, so let us go straight away to the example. So find the point of intersection of the circle x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4y equal to 0. And x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 2y equal to 0. So I'm going to write down the equation first. So x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4y equal to 0 so this is the first equation and then I have the second equation x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 2y equal to 0 so this is the second equation so since we want to calculate the point of intersection I have to find the common chord between them so let us do the first one minus with the second one. So x squared minus x squared cancel out. y squared minus y squared cancel out. And then we will have 2x minus with 4x. So this is negative 2x. Negative 4y plus with 2y. So this is negative 2y. 0 minus 0. So this is 0. So for the third equation, I prefer to have y as the subject. So negative 2y is equal to positive 2x. Therefore, y is simply equal to negative x. So this is your third equation. And then we are going to substitute the third equation. So you can either substitute into the first equation or the second equation. So for this one, I substitute into the first. So x squared plus. So instead of having y squared, we're going to replace them with negative x squared. And then plus with 2x minus with 4 times with negative x equal to 0. So this one is x squared plus with negative x squared plus with 2x negative 4 times with negative x. So this is positive 4x equal to 0. Therefore this is 2x squared plus with 6x equal to 0. And then you can easily factorize the 2x. So this one will become x plus with 3 equal to 0. Okay, so since we have 2x with x plus 3 equal to 0, so 2x must be equal to 0 then, so x must be equal to 0. 
data factor we have x plus 3 equal to 0 therefore x must be equal to negative 3 since we want to find the points of intersection I will need the y coordinate as well so y is equal to negative x so this one is y equal to 0 for this one y is equal to 3 hence the points of intersection So the first one are 0, 0. The second one is negative 3 and 3. So this is how we find the point of intersection between two circles. So let me go to the next example. So find the point of intersection of the straight line 2y minus x equal to 0 with the circle x square plus y square minus 8x plus 6y minus 15 equal to 0. So I have 2y minus x equal to 0. As usual, I prefer to have y as the subject. So 2y equal to x, y must be equal to x over 2. So this one, I'm going to call them as the first equation. If you want to, you can actually let your x as the subject. So you can actually use this one as the first equation. It actually up to you which one you want to choose. So the second one, I have x square plus y square minus with 8x plus with 6y minus 15 equal to 0 so I'm gonna call this one as the second equation so this is the equation of the circle and then I'm gonna take this straight line so the first equation into the second equation so we are going to have x square plus x over 2 square minus 8x plus 6 x over 2 minus 15 equal to 0 so x square plus x square over 4 minus with 8x and then plus with 3x minus 15 equal to 0 and then this one over here so this one is 5x square over 4 negative 8x plus with 3x so negative 5x minus 15 equal to 0 and then I'm gonna multiply everything with 4 so we are going to have 5x square minus with 20x minus with 60 equal to 0 and then let me simplify them a little bit before we can factorize them I'm going to divide them by 5 so I will have x square minus with 4x minus 12 equal to 0 so factorize them completely so we are going to have x minus 6 x plus 2 equal to 0 so either x is equal to 6 or we can have x equal to negative 2 and then you can replace them back over here in the first one so we actually have y equal to 6 over 2 therefore y is equal to 3 over here y is equal to negative 2 over 2 so y is equal to negative 1 therefore the points of intersections are So we have 6, 3 and negative 2, negative 1. So I'll see you in the next part.